Hey everybody! So this is going to be an empties video. Um, these are the products that I've used up in the past, I don't know, month or so. I'm just going to share with you guys whether or not I like the product, if I'd repurchase it, and there's actually not, there's not too, too much in here. I'm actually going to have another video coming after this one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload it after this one. But I just recently cleared out my kind of makeup collection. I like doing that every so often, just taking out the things that I don't use and I don't plan on using. I just don't like hanging on to things. So I have a huge bag of stuff. I'm going to film it next. So stuff I'm getting rid of that's not empty, but this stuff here I've actually used up. So starting off, this is the L'Oreal Fib Fibrology Conditioner. I still have the shampoo in my shower, but I'm done the conditioner and I'm also done the thickening booster. If you watched my Influencer Vox box, I received these products and the shampoo in there. It's um, kind of a special system that L'Oreal created, and it's got some kind of ingredient in it that helps thicken in the individual strands of your hair. And I will say that it does add volume to hair. It's not like, wow, amazing, I have brand new hair, but it definitely does work. I think this booster is the key. I ran out of this well before I ran out of the shampoo and conditioner. And when I stopped using this, this use in between the shampoo and conditioner, I didn't see huge results. So, um, I repurchase it. Maybe if they sold this in a bigger format so you didn't run out of it before the shampoo and conditioner, I would consider trying it again. I would definitely check it out. It's a nice shampoo and conditioner and if you need volume, it's, it's definitely worth checking out. Another L'Oreal product is the Total Repair 5 Replenishing Mask. Looks like that. I've tried out a bunch of L'Oreal hair masks. There's not much in there to show you. Um, and I like a lot of them. This one, however, is not my favorite. I mean, it's nice. I would compare it to a really good conditioner, but nothing fancy as a hair mask, so I wouldn't... It's inexpensive, I, but I wouldn't repurchase that one per se. The next thing is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Facial Wash. This is my second one of these that I've gone through and I've already repurchased. I love it. I talk about it in a Vitacost haul that I have up on my main channel. And uh, I'll link that down below if you want to check it out. That's where I buy this brand from. I love it. It's so creamy. It smells like coconut. It cleans my face really well. I keep it in the shower. It's hydrating. It's wonderful. Um, this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in the shade 115. This is my like winter pale color. And I bought this because I ran out of the CoverGirl 3-in-1, which I really liked. And I would say this is almost the same thing. I don't really see the difference besides that the three-in-one the comes with a pump and this is a squeeze tube. I actually like this better because I felt like I could get all the little last bits of product out. I like it. It's easy. It's good coverage. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. I would highly recommend that for a foundation for sure. All right, next we have the trusty old Batiste dry shampoo. By far my favorite dry shampoo. It doesn't leave any weird residue in your hair. It makes your hair clean. It doesn't leave any film or like white powderiness. It's it's wonderful. It's drugstore. Highly recommend. Talked about it tons. Um, a beauty blender. I've had this far too long. Look how dirty it is. I haven't cleaned it since I decided to get rid of it, but it's just time. I don't even want to admit to how long I've had it for because I think you're supposed to replace these pretty frequently. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't use it all that often. I use these mostly for my concealer and then I use my fingers for BB cream or foundation. Um, I used to use this for foundation and I used to use brushes too, but I don't know, I just like the effect of fingers better. So I use this mostly for concealer. I really like the way it pats it into the skin. I have another one, so I just decided it's time to say goodbye. This is the Pure Lease Gentle Soy Milk Cleanser, Facial Cleanser. This came in an Ipsy bag. I really love this brand. I've purchased their, uh, I couldn't think properly, their um, face moisturizer. I've purchased that a few times. I love the brand, so I was excited to try this out. This is four in one, so it's supposed to like do a whole bunch of things, include a toner in there as well, and you can definitely feel it. When you use this product, it's like it leaves a film on your face and I guess that's supposed to be like extra hydration and toning and whatnot. I don't like that. I like things to wash away clear from my face so I don't like that feeling so I would not repurchase that. This also came in an Ipsy bag. It's the Briogeo Rose Arco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I was really excited about this. Don't mind the chipping nails. Really bad chipping nails. I was really excited about this 
Um, I tried it out a few times. I tried it out all over my hair and I tried it out just on the ends and it is so hydrating that my hair can't handle it. Not even my hair extensions can handle it. It will make my hair greasy within a matter of hours. So unfortunately it's just too heavy for my hair. It's just too good. So if you have really thick uncontrollable hair I think it would work really well for you but for my hair, no good. And this is a Jordana Best Last Best Lash Extreme Mascara. I've gone through many of these. Cheap, good mascara. Um, it just dried up. It's no good anymore. I would repurchase because it works well and it's cheap. But yeah, that's it. Those are all my empties. So definitely look out for the second video of the items I'm purging. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.